What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the stocks by the numbers and today we're taking a quick look here at Virgin Galactic Holdings, ticker symbol SPCE on the New York Stock Exchange. Stock right now is trading at six and a quarter. It's up a little over 1.7% on the day and in my opinion, I think it is going lower based on recent events recent uh, information that came to light here in their last earnings report, which was uh, August 5th, so about three weeks ago. And, you know, right here we have a new 52-week low that was made not too long ago here at $5.14. And in my opinion, I think it's definitely more than likely going to go back to that level and potentially even lower. Uh, we're looking at a market cap here of $1.61 billion. We come down here, and you can see that the company really isn't doing any revenue. They had This is their most decent quarter, I believe, and they brought in $2.5 million, right? A $1.6 billion company, their best quarter was $2.5 million. Since then, a couple of hundred thousand dollars, if they're lucky, right? Now, first of all, I just want to preface before I go any further because, you know, we, we get very emotional, when we talk about our stocks, right? And if you're a shareholder of a company, the last thing you want to hear is anyone for any reason telling you that it's going down. I completely understand and appreciate where you're coming from. But as I've been telling people in the comments section who try to call me out for all these frivolous little things, not only is this just my opinion, right? But more importantly, my opinion is based on simple logic and common sense and numbers. So, you know, that there, there is some truth into, into what I'm bringing to the table here for you guys, right? So, you know, don't, don't just try to hate on me because I'm saying that this is not going from 6 to 30 in the next six months, right? Listen carefully to what I'm laying out to you guys that way, you can make an educated decision moving forward as to whether you perhaps want to cut shares right now and take a small loss. If you feel that, you know, if it pulls back a little bit, you might want to average down and add to your position. Or if you're not in the stock right now and, and, and you were contemplating buying it, you know, perhaps you wait for a little bit of a more attractive price. That's basically the gist of the videos that I'm bringing here. So, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. Like five years from now, you know, this company could be phenomenal. And the stock, you know, could be doing very well. And from these levels, you could have a phenomenal return. But if I don't have to buy it today at six and a quarter, and I can wait, and I can buy it at five dollars, or four and a half, yes, I would much rather position myself at those levels, especially in the long term, Instead of, you know, buying it today and dealing with the headache. So, first of all, you know, I, I did talk about the numbers there. And I want to switch over here because this is a Market Watch article that came out about three weeks ago after the company reported earnings. And as you can see, it says that Space is seeking to sell up to $300 million worth of shares in an at-the-market offering. Now, I believe they have done this before. And Wall Street and investors alike did not reward the stock. They, in fact, ran to the computers and hit the sell button to get far, far away from this company. And it's understandable. But they did say cash and cash equivalents, they have roughly $370 million as of the end of the second quarter, along with $587.7 million in short-term marketable securities. Executives guided for cash burn of $110 million to $120 million in the third quarter. Okay, so let's say if we add these two numbers up together, let's say they have $950 million in liquidity, right? Executives got for cash burn, $110, $120 million in the third quarter. Okay, so they are burning, you know, 10 to 15% of what they have as of right now per quarter. Now, more importantly, even if you switch over here to a uh, trading view, I'll talk about these trend lines in a second, but you can see here, Look, they came out August 5th, shares fall, company postpones commercial flights until Q3 of 2023, right? So that's like 12 months from now. So that's four quarters, basically. And if they're burning 110, 120 million a quarter, you know, now we're looking at what? 450 to almost 500 million dollars that they're going to burn in the next 12 months just to keep the lights on. 
And if they had 950 million in liquidity, right, that's more than 50% of their liquidity is now going to be lost in the next 12 months before they even sell the first ticket. So that's why I'm saying, again, overall, it might not be a bad company. However, at six and a quarter, you know, I'm not forced to buy it right now. Commercial flights are delayed for almost a year from today's date. Um, you know, if, if I like it at six and a quarter, I will love it at five and a quarter, right? If it's a good entry at, you know, mid fives long term, it can potentially be a better entry at sub five if we could potentially see that level. And honestly, I think they are going to bring it down to sub five sometime, you know, over the over the course of the end of this year, potentially even going into early next year, because again, there is going to be a wait for them to actually start selling tickets. And, you know, they're saying that it's going to be $450,000 for a ticket and that the flight is only, only going to last about 90 minutes, right? So, uh, you know, that's a very exclusive market that, that this service is for, right? The average person is probably not going to be able to to take advantage of this experience unless they, you know, seriously start to pump out these, uh, you know, space flight vehicles and, you know, then they can start doing it for maybe like a couple of thousand dollars. You can get a ticket. Then obviously more and more of the average working people will potentially, you know, save up and make it like a life experience for themselves or for their family and, you know, make it their business to really uh, grab some tickets and, and check out, you know, what it's like. So that basically they can put the feather in the cap and say that they did it. But I do feel that over time, this could potentially be a decent business. However, if you're looking for the stock to rally from like these levels of like six back up to like 20, 30, that is most likely going to happen 10, 12, 15 months at least from today, right? Because if they're delaying their flights and they're not bringing in any money, you can't have the value of the company be worth more, right? I'm sure that makes sense to everybody. So, you know, again, you know, I just wanted to go over a couple of things here with space because, you know, I'm not saying it's not going to work out However, right now, I don't see any urgency that you have to buy this stock right now. And if you can potentially position yourself long term, you know, a dollar cheaper or perhaps even more, obviously, it's, it's going to be worth the wait. And then over the years, if the stock does start climbing, you know, if they start beating estimates and, and you hear more and more people are booking flights, and they like their experience and blah, 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 then you're going to see the stock get back into the 20s and the 30s. And then you can say, wow, you know, I made a great investment. I bought this, you know, back at four and a half, five dollars. Now we're sitting here at twenty five dollars. You know, one of the best calls I ever made. And, you know, more power to you. But basically, like I always say, when it comes to a long term investment, you're talking about pricing and timing. And a situation like this, again, here in the short term, you know, you could draw out your descending wedge and try to time the breakout right here, you know, and make yourself some short-term capital. Absolutely. You know, I love it. I love hearing su success stories like that. But at the end of the day, as a long-term investment, as of right now, I am not seeing it, right? So we can potentially check in in a couple of months here on a company like Space, and we can try to position ourselves again, sub six or potentially even sub five, depending on how quickly they burn through their liquidity. And of course, if analysts out there continue to cut their price targets and uh, put sell ratings on the stock, right? So, you know, basically what I'm saying is wait for Wall Street, wait for them to give you your best entry, your best opportunity, right? And we'll leave it at that. So once again, this is Stocks by the Numbers. I want to thank everyone for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Just like everyone on YouTube says, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, you know, it helps bring in new eyes and some more people here to the channel so they can see the content I'm putting out. And of course, if you do like the content I'm putting out and you appreciate my videos, 
please do me a favor, push that subscribe button for me. Personally, it really means a lot to me just seeing the support from you guys. You know, I recently broke above 50 subscribers, and that was basically my uh, my first uh, my first milestone personally that that I was keeping here for this channel. So we got above 50, and you know, obviously, next stop is going to be 100 subs. But you know, I, I'm sure it's going to come in time. Once the word spreads that, you know, there's someone here on YouTube that's actually giving you, you know, a realistic grounded view here on a lot of these companies. Because, you know, if you speak to any young traders out there, you know, if you if you bring them a company like this and you say, oh, yeah, they're going to do, you know, commercial flights out into space and whatnot. You know, they might not take the time to look at the balance sheet, see how much cash they have check uh, when they're actually going to start generating revenue and become fully functional. And, you know, they might just fall in love with the idea of the company and just say, oh, no, you got to buy it. You got to buy it. And again, I'm not saying it's not a buy, but why buy it at six and a quarter when I have the opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, when I have the opportunity to buy it at five and a quarter or potentially even lower, that way I can make even greater returns over the years. Right. So there you go. I'll end on that. And moving forward, like I always say, I know markets are rocky. Markets are volatile. They're very uncertain. So I wish everyone success. I hope everyone makes a couple of dollars and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.